Your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pizzano with a look at your headlines. A second COVID-19 testing site is now open in Springfield. Local leaders praising the Baker Polito administration for granting the city's request for an additional site. The new site easing the strain on other local sites working to meet demand for COVID testing and shortening wait times for those needed to get tested. Two teenagers now under arrest after the hostage situation at a Texas synagogue this weekend. Authorities say a British national responsible for the 11-hour standoff was demanding the release of Afia Siddiqui from a Texas prison where she's serving time for the attempted murder of U.S. forces in Afghanistan. And some residents wake to nearly a foot of snow this morning. People in Blanford breaking out their shovels and plows to clear out for the morning commute. The morning snow blanketing several communities with a winter blast before temperatures rose and the snow began to melt. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. We will have the chance to see a few flurries and snow showers this evening and then skies will gradually clear overnight. Staying blustery with temperatures dropping down to around 20 degrees, but with wind chills, it'll feel closer to single digits overnight through morning. Watch out for some developing black ice too as everything out there that's wet and slushy will refreeze. Now going into our Tuesday, a colder air mass in place, so highs will only get into the 20s. We'll have some good sunshine, but we keep that gusty breeze, so it is going to feel about 5 to 10 degrees colder throughout the day. So you're going to want all the uh, winter gear before you head out the door. So we're cold and blustery Tuesday. Strong low pressure continues to move away. Wednesday morning will start off very cold and dry, but then a quick moving system, a cold front will approach, bringing the chance for a few rain and snow showers Wednesday night. We're dry again for Thursday and to wrap up the week, though another shot of cold air is on tap. Temperature will be back to 30 on Thursday and teens for Friday. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.